Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson three. And in this lesson, we're gonna move from just specifically adding and subtracting, which we've been doing in the previous lessons. And we're gonna move towards uh, helping our students develop a, an understanding of place value. Uh, we're going to be using that place value chart. We're going to go from the ones to the tens, and that's about it. So we're going to be working within a hundred. The idea is, for example, let's take the uh, number 47. So there's a way we, we want our students to understand the meaning of each of those digits, the four and the seven. And you could begin by bi uh, building 47 with some quick tens. So you can um, draw the four tens, there's your four tens, and then the seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I did it in a group of five, a five group on purpose, right? So we could do it that way, and then we can also use like the hide zero cards. So we could see that 47 and then break it apart as 40 and seven. So parents and teachers, your job is to allow your students to move between the pictures of the quick tens and the hide zero notation, more of an abstract notation, as we develop our understanding of place value. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the pictures. All right, and from that picture, we're going to fill in the tens and the ones. And what we can, and they're giving us some scaffolding here, so we kind of know that the answer is 52. All right, so ideally, what you're going to have to do is help your students understand that they don't need to count the individual, in this case, they don't need to count those individual uh, pencils, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Although, if they did, they would get ten. What we're going to have to help our students understand is we're kind of following some rules <clears throat> that if, the, if there's a clump, that's going to be a clump of ten or a group of 10. So we have a group of 10, a group of 10, another group of 10, another group of 10, and another group of 10. <clears throat> so the idea would be we have five groups of 10 and we have two groups of one because there's a one and there's a one. And that gives us the number 52. So we have five tens, two ones. All right. So we're looking at it over here in pictorial form. We're looking over here in the place value chart, five tens and two ones. We're also seeing it kind of in the unit form over here. Let's take a look at number two. So we've got these groups. We don't need to zoom in and count. We know that if they're a group, it means there's 10 of them. So we can um, say, okay, well, there's a group of 10. Oops, let's, there we go. There's a group of 10, there's a 10, there's a 10. There's a 10, there's a 10, there, 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 and there. So how many 10s do we have? We have nine 10s. And if we counted the individual ones, how many individuals do we have? We have eight ones. So what do we have? Well, we have the number 98, which is nine 10s and eight ones. One last example, just, they're just, removing some of the scaffolding as we move down the page. So we have groups of 10. How many groups of 10 do we have? Well, we have six groups of 10. So we have six tens. And then how many ones do we have? So we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven ones. So how many carrots do we have all together? We have 67. So we, we want our students to be able to skip count by tens, right? We want them to be able to say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Or if, if we have six tens, we want the students to be able to say, hey, we have 60 carrots, right? So six tens and seven ones, so that's 67 carrots. And by the way, if you have students struggling, help students see that 67 can be thought of as 60 plus 7. In fact, where do we see the 60? We see the 60 right here. And where do we see the 7? 
we'd see the 7 right there. So we're just kind of removing the scaffolding. Now we don't have any pictures at all. Now we're just going from numbers into the place value chart, and then from the place value chart into the number. So if we have the number 70, well, that means we have seven tens and no ones. If we have the number 76, what do we have? We have seven tens and six ones. Now, remind your students, what does that mean, 76? Well, that means you have 70 plus six, if you wanted to. This part is purely optional. That's just adding to the understanding. Now, here, four tens and nine ones. What does that mean? Well, that means, quickly, we means we have 49. But parents and teachers, if you want, help your students understand that this four means we have 40, and this nine means we have nine. So we have 40 plus nine. And the last one is 94. And that wraps up the beginnings of place value. We have first grade module six, lesson three, using that place value chart to talk about numbers up to 100.